Hi there, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series uh, from Knowledge Powerhouse. In this series, we are going through many questions around system design and software architecture. Our next question is, what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS protocol? So HTTP is a protocol a lot of people are already aware and even we have heard about HTTPS also. So in this uh, video, we are trying to see what are the main differences between these two protocols and how do we use them. So HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, like it's a pretty old protocol and we still use it. And that's why it's very popular across the internet. But nowadays, uh, because of security, we are going for HTTPS. HTTP is like application related pro protocol that is used for transferring information over the network. Whereas HTTPS does the same work, but it is a hypertext transfer protocol secure. So it adds security to the existing HTTP protocol. So first difference is encryption. In HTTP, there is no encryption, and I mean you are responsible for doing encryption. Whereas in HTTPS, we have encryption, and this encryption is done using the transport layer security TLS protocol, so that any requests or responses that are in http protocol they are transferred with encryption encryption is like we code it in such a way that even if somebody reads those messages they cannot make out anything out of it so that's the encryption so another difference now is because of encryption security comes so https is considered more secure than http protocol and one of the motivation behind this is authentication of the website. So we have uh, certificate authorities uh, using which we can authenticate the website and then we can protect the privacy of uh, users data and even we can protect the integrity of data exchange in the transit. So if you are <coughs> taking some kind of a data uh, like user passwords or like financial data or if you have some kind of date of birth or social security number like or Aadhaar card. So all this information is uh, very secure, like, you know, sensitive to some user and it should not be shared uh, with other users. So in such a way, if we are able to encrypt them using HTTPS, then it makes it much uh, reliable for users to use our websites. So for security purposes, HTTPS is the one that we use and for that we use TLS. So one difference you will see in the in HTTP, you have HTTP colon slash slash protocol, and this is evident in the URLs. And in HTTPS, we have HTTPS colon slash slash. So whenever we see in web browsers, users also start seeing some kind of log or some kind of a mechanism by which they know this site is secure. And in many browsers, if the site is not secure or do not have a kind of a valid certificate, then the browsers will start warning the users that it might be a malicious website. So URL of this is also very important. Then at port level, HTTP uses the port 80, which is a pretty open port in most of the machines. So this port is used, uh, I mean, in many systems. And HTTPS uses the 443 port to send any data. So this is a very minor difference but it's good to know like what kind of port we are trying to use. Then another important aspect is the redirect. So nowadays uh, like many uh, sites have started using HTTPS, but still the uh, clients, they are relying on HTTP URL. So a lot of other clients are having HTTP URL. So it is not a good idea to shut down the traffic to HTTP URL. So what we do is that we implement a redirect. So whenever a user will try to access HTTP URL, we will redirect that user to HTTPS URL so that users always get the secure access to the site. They do not deal with the unsecure world. So even though they request the HTTP URL, we send them to the HTTPS URL so that they are always secure and their data is transferred in a secure way. One important point here to understand is that HTTPS is uh, like uh, so using the uh, data in transit in secure way. It's not data in storage, it's data in transit. It means when data is transmitted, then we are securing it. 
So HTTPS uh, transmits the request in HTML data by using an encrypted connection. So how it does is that in SSL secured socket layer, we use a public key. So it's a asymmetric cryptography. We'll have a video on that also down, down the line. And in this, we use public key, private key. So the public key is the one which is used to encrypt the data. And uh, then it can be decrypted on the client side. So that way we can, uh, the clients come in the, they can have their private key using which they can decrypt it. And this way, I mean, the data can be transferred in a secure way. And whenever we use HTTPS, the data is not passed as plain text over the network. So this is again important point that even if a hacker sees the data that is being passed, they cannot re recover anything out of it because it is encrypted. So therefore in HTTPS, data is more secure, system is more secure, and the users of the website have more confidence on using the website that has HTTPS. All right, uh, that's all on this topic. It was a very small topic. And still, if you have any questions, do post in the comments and let us know. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.